Hi right, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I uh, wanted to make a video demonstrating the process of uh, trying to fix up a audio video latency um, in two different ways. One is in um, OBS Studio and the second one's going to be using Pulse Audio. Uh, this is really just ap applicable, applicable for uh, Ubuntu users. I'm using OBS here on Ubuntu Linux and I say that because Pulse Audio is a mixer GUI for Ubuntu. So um, you'd wanna be using Ubuntu for this to be useful to you, this info. So um, first things first, how would you apply a latency on OBS? Now I have shown this before, but I do think it's really important and I make these videos uh, as much for myself as for other people. So I'm gonna show it again. But before that, um, I can say a bit of theory, so it's way too fancy. What is latency? What are we doing? So positive, negative latency or sync offset as it's labeled here. Um, we're doing a clap, let's say, and we want roughly the audio and video to be in sync. Now, what would happen if we uh, were to clap, let's say, um, and we firstly saw the clap, then we heard the clap. So the audio is um, a bit offset and but we can apply an offset in order to fix that so in that case uh we would need to be bringing the audio back um a bit right so again we heard we sorry we saw a clap then we heard a clap so that would actually be a negative sync offset so if you're in this um advanced audio properties menu uh you get here by the way by um going into your audio mixer uh right click and um then you will want to then you will want to uh, click on advanced audio properties and you'll get this dialogue open. And um, you can go negative, so don't think it's only positive just because there's zero. Now, we're looking here at milliseconds. So these are actually very small units, a uh, thousand milliseconds in a second. And um, so when even if we're applying like a minus 300 millisecond latency, we're actually only, the offset's just like three tenths of a second, right? If we're applying a 1000 positive offset, then that is a full second positive offset. So um, I'm trying to look around for props here. I did not prepare this properly. I just use my hands, nothing else will work. Audio and video, let's say this guy's video, this guy's audio. So a thousand positive, we'd be moving the audio track up forward by 1000 milliseconds or, or one second. Negative latency, we'd be pulling the audio just a little bit back and the case for negative would be if we needed to pull the sound back so we uh, you know, saw the clap or we saw the clap or board and then we heard. So we'd need to pull the sound back to get that good alignment going on. Um, so that's one way. So this is doing it in the, I'm gonna go back to 70. This is doing it in OBS Studio, which is uh, good. And just make sure you have your microphones labeled uh, intelligently in some way because um you know if you are working with multiple mics you do not want to apply latency to the wrong microphone so live is not particularly good so i'm going to call this podcasting one and uh it looks like i'm going to have to exit out and bring it back up for that to take effect but uh now it has taken effect so if you're recording with a bunch of microphones in your studio a podcasting mic, a lav mic, podcasting for Daniel, podcasting for, uh, you know, someone else. So all these just be descriptive so that you can be sure that you are applying a offset to the correct microphone and not to someone else's microphone. Um, okay, so that's number one, doing it in um, OBS. Methodology two is using Pulse Audio. So let me just bring over the Pulse Audio control panel here. And uh, Pulse Audio is a, a GUI for um, for uh, Linux, Ubuntu, I'm not sure other Debian distributions, uh, but in any event, um, you can click into input devices and you can see your microphones. So you're seeing now the Maono um, microphone I'm using. It's a podcasting condenser mic and um, the firmware often gives it kind of weird names, Maono Fairy. Uh, I don't think this is called a fairy, but you know, uh, you'll know you get to know which is your microphone just by looking at the levels. And um, just another thing I do is I, I if I'm not using a microphone, so this webcam you're watching me speak into also has a built-in microphone. 
And because I don't want to record into it now, if it's not in my sources and OBS, it's not going to be, as far as I know, the audio has no way to seep in to the track. But nevertheless, I just, if I'm doing recording in the two like this, I just mute it um, so that there's no chance of that even happening. So I'm just going to mute the uh, source there. Now, uh, you may notice that to the, um, just beneath the level mixer, the level uh, bar here, we have a, um, we have a, a latency offset. So this is another place you can apply an offset. And again, you can see here uh, milliseconds. And what you can do is um, just, just gonna turn on my cursor movement so you can see where I'm trying to point to. And uh, here you are able to um, apply a latency positive or negative. So you can go for 2000, which is two seconds positive latency, or you can go for minus 2000, which is minus two seconds or two seconds negative latency and um, why might you want to do it here and not there uh, here being pulse there being obs so if you were recording your mic into a bunch of different um sources uh you know such as a audacity or obs or uh, zoom meetings across the board then it would make more sense to um, apply that latency at the um, mixer for the operating system than at the mixer for the each individual application um, or that would be my thinking about it anyway uh, so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and uh, just show you guys a couple of clips i recorded um, of me uh, practicing the gear and i did a 60 second 60 millisecond latency for this microphone firstly did it in obs secondly did it in um in uh, pulse audio so just gonna put myself on mute for this microphone and you can watch these. Okay, now this is 60 milliseconds of positive latency offset, the same offset, but this time this was configured in Pulse Audio Advanced Audio Properties. Okay, this is 60 milliseconds of positive latency configured in OBS Studio. Just uh, unmuting my mic. Now, so you saw those two clips. First one was same, same latency applied and hopefully they look pretty similar. Uh, quite interesting, you can see how quickly the light changes in this room. That was, I took those clips like one hour ago and just because the sun is setting, it's already like totally different lighting conditions. Um, in any event, I hope that was useful. Uh, two places you can change latency in um, your uh, computer for recording these videos. And if you'd like to get more videos about OBS, um, video, audio, Linux, Jerusalem. Uh, as you can see, I have not segmented this YouTube video by topic very well. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe and look forward to more videos coming out soon.